guys. Come on in and step into my Imagination Crafty Station. Today's craft is inspired by needing to see the world a little bit differently sometimes. We're all cooped up in our homes right now, so a little change of view is welcome in times like this, don't you think? Today, join me as we create our very own kaleidoscopes out of things from around your house. A kaleidoscope is a toy that uses lights, mirrors, and reflection to create beautiful and unique patterns that constantly change as you spin it around. Y'all, I had so much fun creating mine. With this craft, once you create the inside of your scope, the sky's the limit for where you want to take your imagination when you're decorating yours. Okay, you guys, I'm just too darn excited about this one, so let's hurry up and see what we're going to need so we can get started. For today's craft, we're going to need several different things. First of all, we're going to need a paper towel tube or a toilet paper tube, some sort of fruit container that's clear, a piece of cardboard, aluminum foil, sequins, glass beads, or small shiny objects that can roll around, a marker, hot glue, scissors, and construction paper to decorate. So what are we waiting for? Let's grab our parents to help with the inside of our scope and get started. Step one, grab your paper towel tube, your clear containers, a marker, and your scissors. Place your tube down on the clear flat lid of the container and trace around the circle. Then using your scissors, cut out your circles. We're gonna need two of these. For the first circle, cut outside the line you just created. For the second, cut on the inside of the circle that you just created with your marker to make it a little bit smaller. This one will be going inside your tube. Now that you have your circles cut out, put those aside so that we can create the mirrored portion of our craft. Lay out your piece of cardboard and measure it against your cardboard tube. You're gonna want this to be about an inch shorter than the actual tube. Now create three strips of cardboard. I used a ruler to create mine approximately one inch wide apart. Once you've measured this, you can start to cut them. Once you have your three strips of cardboard cut, you can grab your aluminum foil. Here, wrap each piece of cardboard in the foil by folding it over like so. I like to secure mine with a dot of hot glue at the end. Do the same for all three of your pieces. Make sure that you are keeping your foil nice and tight and that you have one side that is very smooth. Now that you have your foil wrapped pieces, it's time to put it all together. Here, we're gonna create a triangle by gluing the edges of our different cardboard pieces together at an angle. It's important that you're keeping the smooth pieces on the inside here. Continue until you've created your full triangle. We just created an angled mirror surface that's gonna help reflect our pretty beads and light off of.
Okay, it's time to start to assemble our kaleidoscope. Place your mirror triangle inside your tube and push it until the end of your triangle is completely inside. In this step, you're gonna to wanna to lay the smaller circle of plastic inside your tube so that it lays flat on your triangle. If there is space on the side, you can put a rim of hot glue so that your beads and sequins don't fall through. Once that's dried, it's now time to place your beads. Here is where you can use anything that is shiny and that will move around. I'm using different color and different size sequins, but you can use glass beads or painted pebbles. Make sure that you fill the bottom up, but don't put too many that they can't move around. So pretty, now that you have filled your tube with your sparkles, it's time to cap it off. Place a layer of hot glue around the rim of your tube. Let this dry for several seconds before grabbing your larger plastic circle and placing it on top. For extra security, I place another layer of glue on the outside of my lid so that it doesn't come off when I'm rotating. Woohoo, you now have officially made the inside of your kaleidoscope. Okay, now that you have the inside created, now it's time to move on to the outside. First, grab a sheet of construction paper in your favorite color. Then create a line down the length of your tube with hot glue and place it at the edge of your paper down along that. Now wrap the paper all the way around. Place another line of hot glue down the length of the paper and secure it on that side. You've just covered the outside of your kaleidoscope. A kaleidoscope isn't complete without an official viewing area. In this step, we're going to make an eye hole for the unfinished end of your tube. Set your roll down on another piece of construction paper and trace the outside to make a circle. Now draw a smaller circle on the inside. If you need a guide here, a penny or nickel make great ones. Grab your scissors and start to cut it. To cut the inside circle, you'll want to fold your paper and create an X with your scissors so that you can reach inside and cut. Once you've gotten it cut, now rim your tube with hot glue. Once that's dried for a few seconds, you can put your paper circle on top and press it down to connect. Voila, you now have a spot to peek through to see the amazing colors that your kaleidoscope will create. We officially have a fully functioning kaleidoscope, but now it's time to decorate, which you know I'm all about. I'm gonna show you how I decorated mine, but I think that you are all such good imaginers that you should test out your creative skills here. I added thicker and thinner strips of different color paper, stars, and some fringe to mine. Grab another piece of paper and go and find your inspiration. Fringe is so fun to make and adds a little bit of extra pizzazz to anything that you do. Here's how I make my fringe. I wanted to add stars to mine, so I grabbed an extra scrap piece of paper from one of our other crafts and I drew a few stars to cut out. Now add your extra pieces. I used hot glue here, but you can use any type of glue to connect yours. Awesome. 
Finally, for a little extra razzle dazzle, I added my extra sequins to the bottom that I had left over. Once you finish putting on your touches, you can take it out for a spin, hold it up towards a light and look through your viewfinder and rotate it so you can see the fun colors and patterns that your kaleidoscope makes. So what do you think? Did you learn anything while making this craft? I loved getting to see what went into making the inside of our kaleidoscopes, and I hope you did too. For me, it's so neat to make something that you can buy at the store and getting to understand why it works the way it does. I also had a great time decorating the outside because for me, that's half the fun. I can't wait to see what yours looks like, so you know the drill. Use Crafting with Corey's hashtag and let me see your handiwork. Okay, you guys, I think I'm going to head outside and test out my new kaleidoscope in the bright light. I'll see you next time in the Pink Craft Studio for some fun new crafts. So cheers and stay inspired. Oh, as excited as I am to use my new handmade toy, I need to first clean up my craft station. So let's recycle any scraps of plastic, paper, and cardboard and make sure that our extra beads are picked up so we can put away for another craft another day.